Welcome to Tabata Core. We are going, no, let me roll, I just like fix my hair. <laughs> Why did I not do that before I started the video? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Tabata Core, 20 seconds off, 10 second hold, or sorry, 20 seconds of work, 10 second hold, 20 seconds of work, and then 10 seconds to switch exercises. It's gonna be a lot of obliques. So we're gonna get started with a side crunch. Drop those knees to one side. Three, two, one, lift and lower. If you want, you can reach toward the heel with the opposite hand of what the way those knees are dropped. So if they're dropped to the left side, you're gonna reach with the right arm. So this is just kind of like a little warm up for the core. You got three, two, one, hold it up. We're just warming it up, hold up, feel those obliques. Feel, feel, feel. Three, two, one round, same side. Down and lift. So we're doing the same side, the same exercise, two times back to back with a 10 second hold. If that doesn't make sense to you, just keep going. <laughs> switch when I switch. Three, two, one. Now you're gonna switch sides. So drop those knees to the opposite side. Hand behind head, three, two, maybe reach with the opposite hand or both hands can be behind the head. This should not be particularly challenging on the core yet. This is just a quick little warm up. Um, this is my third video I'm filming today. But, um, so I'm like nice and warmed up but I wanna make sure that you are as well. Three, two, hold it up. Squeeze the oblique, really feel it squeezing. Three, two, one, down and up. So with the next round, listen closely to the lefts and rights that I give you, they will be important, especially for the round after that. <laughs> Couple more seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, lay flat on your back. Extend the right leg, left knee stays bent. Left arm comes overhead, right arm behind hand. Left arm to right leg. Lift, lower. Lift on the hip of my couch, lower. At your own pace. If you're playing music, find a beat that um, flows for you. Or every exhale, lifting it. <sighs> Try and hold for that split second. Three, two, hold it up. Reaching that left shoulder blade off the ground. We got one more round right here. Three, two, one, lower and lift. So again, left arm to right leg. And this is where the rights and lefts will become very important because I want to continue hitting that right oblique just a little bit harder. Three, two, one. We're coming into a side plank on the right side. So right hand comes down to the ground. Left arm lifts. You're gonna scoop that left arm under the right side of the body, lift. So again, right arm down. And I want you to really lift those hips up. So maybe not a straight line, but it's kind of like your spine is parallel to the ground and then your legs come down. Three, two, just hold right here. Hold up nice and tall for the 10 seconds. We got one more round of the scoop and then we're going the same side again. Three, two, one. Down and lift. If you need to drop that bottom knee, feel free to do so or pulling that top foot up will help add a little extra support. I know that right arm might be burning or working through that shoulder too, which I actually consider part of the core. Three, two, one. Lowering it down. So again, left knee bent, right leg straight. It's the same side, left arm reaches to right leg. Ready and go. So I consider the shoulder part of the core because it's so important with stabilization and that by using that shoulder, very often you will have to stabilize with the core. So thinking about like if you're lifting something heavy, three, two, hold it up. If you're lifting something heavy, your core is certainly doing work, your legs are certainly doing work, 
but through that shoulder, you're also doing a lot of work to keep the back flat and the core lifted and lower and lift, lower and lift. So we got that side plank coming up and then we got switch in sides. Three, two, one, side plank, right arm down again. Remember, you can drop that right knee or pull that left foot up. Top arm's gonna scoop under. Three, two, begin. Scoop. Now I'm thinking of like ice cream. I would love some ice cream right now. <laughs> Stop talking about ice cream during an abs class. Three, two, one, hold it up. Lift those hips up really, squeezing those obliques. Maybe give yourself a little poke, feeling how those abs are tightening up. We got one more round on this side. Three, two, one, tip it. So you should feel that shoulder engage. Again, bring that top foot up. If you're like, ooh, this is rough on my shoulder. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, laying it back onto your back. Right knee bends this time, left leg extends, right arm overhead, three, two, right arm to left leg. Lift, lower, lift, lower. So we got two rounds of all of this on this side, and then we've got some new exercises coming up. Four, three, two, hold it up. Hold, hold, hold. Get that right shoulder blade off the ground. Three, two, one more round. Begin. Lift. So this should hit kind of those upper abs, hitting those left obliques a little bit because you got to crunch over to the side just a little bit, really reaching that left shoulder, maybe reaching that right arm past that left toe. Four, three, two, side plank on that left arm. So again, you can drop that left knee if you need to. Scooping that top arm under. Three, two, begin. Scoop and lift. You want that shoulder to be directly over that left hand. And what you do not want is for that left elbow to lock. You want to keep a very, what we call a micro bend in that left elbow. When you hear that chime, holding it up. Hold, hold, hold. Get those hips up just a little higher. Maybe give yourself a poke, feel them engage. Three, two, one, scoop it. Like some ice cream. Stop it, Peter. Oh. Lift and lower. We got one more round of this on this side, lowering it down. Right knee bends, left leg extends, right arm overhead, left arm behind, and right arm to left leg, reaching past that toe if you can. Maybe holding up for that split second at the top. Three. Two, one, hold it up. Hold, hold, hold. Reach, reach, reach. Three, two, one. Last round here. Ten more seconds. Side plank after this. Three. Two, one, rolling it onto that left side. Left arm comes down. You got some time. Three, two, one. Scoop that top arm down and lift. Remember, you can always drop that left knee here or pull that right foot up to add a little extra support. Especially that left shoulder's talking to you. Three, two, hold. Nice and tall. 
Try not to rest if you can help it. Three, two, one. Last round right here. Tip, lift. So we're coming into another type of side crunch or like a side jackknife after this. You got 10 seconds. We'll be laying down on the left side. Three, two, one. So laying down on the left side, left arm down to the ground, right arm overhead, legs extended, slight bend through the hip, lift and lower, lift and lower. Try to never let the feet touch the ground if you want. You can just do the top leg as well. Great option right here. Up, and we are gonna hold. And again, right to must become important. You're on your left side, right arm is reaching. Three, two, hold it up. Keep those legs extended, push the elbow to lift. One more round right here in three, two, one. Down and lift, down and lift. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Roll onto your right side, side plank, right elbow down. So the elbow's down, right obliques are still working. You're gonna tap the hip to the ground and lift. Tap the hip to the ground and lift. Lower, lift. So we're hitting those right obliques real hard right here. Real hard right now. Keep that chest lifted, opening that left shoulder up. Make sure you're not like caved down. Hold, hold. We got one more round right here, flipping it back over on that left side. Same side, three, two, side plank, lower and lift. Again, you can drop that bottom knee or bring that top foot up. Your oblique should be oh so happy with you right now. 10 seconds, and that shoulder, and everything. Four, three, two, one. Rolling it back over onto the left side. Again, slight bend through the hips. Left elbow down, right arm up, one or both legs, and go. Side jackknife, lift, lower, lift, lower. 10 seconds, lifting through that upper body to meet the lower body. Three, two, hold it up if you can. Hold it, hold it, hold it. We got one more round here. Three, two, one, and lower, and lift. Ooh, lower, and lift, keep it up. Keep moving. 10 seconds, burn through those right obliques. You got four, three, two, one. Flipping it over, right elbow down, left arm lifts, side plank, tap that hip to the ground. Three, two, tap and lift, tap and lift. Try to really open the left side of the chest. Don't let that left elbow be in view or that left arm. Three, two, one, hold it up. Ooh, if you can, if you need to take a break, take it if you need to, not if you want to, if you need to. You got one more round here, then we're switching sides. Three, two, oh, down and up. Bring that top forward if you need it. I need it. Shoulders should be burning. Oblique should be burning 10 seconds. You got four, three, two, one. You're gonna lay right down on that right side. So you're not switching. We're on the opposite side. Bend through the hips, right elbow down, left arm overhead, both legs or one leg, side jackknife. Lift and lower. Lots and lots of oblique work here. Four, three, two, hold her up. Boom. 
That was an accident I don't think I've ever done before. <laughs> Three, two, one, lower and lift. So I'm like pretty used to like how I sound because I've watched myself in videos and stuff so many times and I record myself singing and stuff all the time. So I'm really familiar with, you know, like when you hear your voice and you're like, that's what I sound like. <laughs> but then like sometimes just get bored with what I sound like. Three, two, one, opposite side. So yeah, sometimes I just get bored with what I sound like. Left elbow down. Three, two, one, lift. Drop the hip down and lift. So I just want to, you know, keep it exciting for me and for you. You know, you probably get bored with what I sound like also. Ooh. Lift and lower. I don't know what my arm is doing. It's just like hanging. Three, two, hold it up. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Three, two, one. Drop that left hip down and lift. You can bring that top foot up if you need to. Those obliques should be burning. Shoulders should be burning. We're gonna do like a quick cool down set after this and then we're done. Four, three, two, one. Right side of the body comes to the ground. Side jackknife. Right elbow down, slight bend through the hips. Three, two, left arm to feet. Ten seconds. Make sure you breathe. It's very often why I over exaggerate my breathing to like remind you. Three, two, hold it up. Oh, the boobah's just so used to be filming now. <laughs> He's like, whatever. Dad's just being weird again. Three, two, one. When I first started, he would just constantly attack me. Keep going. Because I'd be like, you know, making sudden movements and stuff all the time. And he was like, oh my gosh, it's playtime. Okay. <laughs> so now he's kind of learned, like, when I'm here to just hang out. Three, two, one. Flipping it over. Left elbow down. Side plank. Ooh. Three, two, one. Lift. Lower those hips down and up. This is my third class I filmed today, so my mat is very sweaty right now. <laughs> and it's covered in all sorts of fluids. And by all sorts of fluids, I mean just sweat. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lift it up and hold it up. I'm glad I can make myself laugh. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh man. One more set. Three, two. If you need to bring that top foot up, I do. Down and up. Ten seconds. Oh. Four, three, two, one. And come back onto your back. Figure four crunch. So you're gonna cross that right foot over the left knee, and it's just a basic crunch. Three, two, lift. Tap the heel down. So this is kind of like a cool down, hitting that central core a little bit. This is very much an oblique focus. Three, two, just like before, hold it up. Hold it, hold it, hold it, maybe pulse it. One more round on this side. Three, two, one. Lower and lift. Keep breathing. We've got the other side coming up. We'll get a couple little oblique stretches and then we're done. Ready to get on with the rest of your day. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Right foot down, left foot crosses. Three, high through butt, two, one, and lift and lower. He has like a little eye dunk thing going on, so I get to give him eye drops twice a day, every day, which is just such a bonding experience for us. <laughs> he actually handles it very well. Three, two, one, hold it up, 
and he like knows it makes him feel better, so he just kind of sits there and is like, meow, but lets me do it. Three, two, one, last round. Lower and lift. We are done in about 15 seconds. That's all you got left. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and roll it up. Coming into a kneeling position, you're gonna send that left leg out to the left side, right arm comes overhead, tipping to the side. Holding open, nice oblique stretch here. Three, two, one, switch sides. We got a couple seconds still. So send that right arm out to the right side. Left arm comes over and hold. Open those obliques. Get a nice stretch through that side body. Five, four, three, two, standing it up nice and slow. We're gonna hit those same oblique stretches, but standing. So reach up, grab left wrist, tip right. Really tipping, maybe shifting those hips to that left side, opening up. Keep holding. Should look like a little banana. Three, two, one, slight back bend, goal post those arms, just opening that heart. Three, two, lift, grab right wrist, tip left. Extend those hips out to that right side just a little bit, opening the side body, the ribs, the obliques. We're gonna get that last little goal post in like six seconds. Three, two, and one deep breath in and exhale. Goal post those arms. Inhale to lift. Exhale, open the heart. One more. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Shake it out. You are done. Good job.